Countries on the continent are faced with a food crisis following the army worm invasion. The worm, which was detected last year in Nigeria, is now in 25 African countries, attacking several hectares of maize farms. It's not clear how much the continent will need to eradicate the worm through the use of pesticides, but it cost, it cost rather Brazil at least 600 million US dollars. Benedict Locusi walks through his four-acre maize plantation with some sense of hopelessness and disappointment. This because he has for the last month attempted to fight a fall army worm invasion without success. He's been a farmer for 10 years. This is the first time he has seen such a voracious pest. I grow maize on four acres of my farm. Two acres have been affected. If you look at these maize plants, they are completely destroyed. I have now abandoned this crop. This year, I will probably get just 80 bags of maize compared to 200 bags in the previous seasons. In Kenya, 13 of the 47 counties have been affected by the fall amiwam. Transoia County, where Lokusi grows his crop, produces 5.5 million bags of maize every year. That is about 15% of the country's annual maize harvest. It also produces Kenya seeds. Over 12,000 hectares which is almost 30,000 acres, have so far been affected by the pest. The worm is native to the Americas. It was first detected in Nigeria in November last year. Experts believe it entered Africa by sea, probably in a maize shipment. Across the continent, 25 countries are battling the invasion, putting millions of lives at risk. For the first year, what has been estimated is 13.5 million tons, estimated at about 3 billion US dollars. So that is uh, the risk we face for the first year, and we can actually even extrapolate what would happen if this pest establishes itself and becomes a permanent pest. If the fall amiwam is not detected early, then containing it with pesticides becomes difficult. The high temperatures experienced in much of Africa are conducive for its survival. Their fears that it is becoming resistant to most pesticides currently in use in Kenya, forcing some farmers to spray more than recommended doses. Another challenge is international trade, because this is a quarantine pest in Europe. So we might not be able to trade on some crops, especially like sweet corn, or some other crops which might actually be a host for the pest. It burrows in maize stalks during the day and can be seen at night feeding on the leaves. At least 13 counties in Kenya are affected by the fall amiwam. The country's food security is now at risk and with climate change there are fears that the fall amiwam could spread further into the country. Is this a crisis? It is a crisis. I think it is a crisis we need to, to work on. In Transoya County alone, at least $4.5 million have been used in an attempt to control the pest. Experts admit three times more will be needed for the county. While it is not clear how much Kenya or even the affected countries in Africa will need to eradicate the pest, what is known is that it will be more expensive if it is not eliminated now. Sarah Kimani, SABC News, Kenya.